Hey everyone, Spencer here with Living Excellent Eye Ministries. And today we are continuing with Our Year in the Word with Mark chapter 15. As soon as it was morning, having held a meeting with the elders, scribes, and the whole Sanhedrin, the chief priests tied Jesus up, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. So Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? He answered him, You say so. And the chief priests accused him of many things. Pilate questioned him again, Aren't you going to answer? Look how many things they are accusing you of. But Jesus still did not answer. And so Pilate was amazed. At the festival, Pilate used to release used to release for the people a prisoner whom they requested. There was one named Barabbas, who was in prison with rebels who had committed murder during the rebellion. The crowd came up and began to ask Pilate to do for them as was his custom. Pilate answered them, Do you want me to release the king of the Jews for you? For he knew it was because of envy that the chief priests had in, had had handed him over. But the chief priest stirred up the crowd, so he was so he would release Barabbas to them instead. Pilate asked him again, Then what do you want me to do with the one you call the king of the Jews? Again they shouted, Crucify him. Pilate said to them, Why? What has he done wrong? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him. Wanting to satisfy the crowd, Pilate released Barabbas to them, and after having Jesus flogged, he handed him over to, to be crucified. The soldiers led him away into the place that is the governor's, governor's residence and called the whole company together. They dressed him in a purple robe, twisted together a crown of thorns, and pulled, put it on him. And they began to salute him and hail, King of the Jews. They were hitting him on the head with a stick and spitting on him. Getting down on their knees, they were paying him homage. After they had mocked him, they stripped him of the purple robe and put his clothes on him. They led him out to crucify him. They forced a man coming from the country who was passing by to carry Jesus' cross. He was Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus. They brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull. They, tied, they tried to give him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. Then they crucified him and divided his clothes, casting lots for them to decide what each would get. Now it was nine in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription on the, of the charge written against him was King of the Jews. They crucified two criminals with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by were yelling insults at him, shaking their heads and saying, Ha! The one who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days? Save yourself by coming down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests with the scribes were mocking him among themselves and saying, He saved others, but he cannot save himself. Let the Messiah, the King of Israel, come down now from the cross so that we may see and believe. Even those who were crucified with him taunted him. When it was noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And at three, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, leme shenakaba, which is translated, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing there heard this, they said, He, see, he is calling for Elijah. Someone ran and filled a sponge with sour wine fixed it on a stick and offered him a drink and said, let's see if Elijah comes to take him down. Jesus let out a loud cry and breathed his last. Then the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. When the centurion who was standing opposite him saw the way he breathed his last breath, he said, truly this man was the son of God. There was also a woman, women watching from a distance among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, the younger, and of Jos, and Salome. In Galilee, these women followed him and took care of him. Many other women had come up with him to Jerusalem. When it was already evening, because it was the day of preparation, that is the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, a prominent member of the Sanhedrin, who was himself looking forward to the kingdom of God, 
came and boldly went to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body. Pilate was surprised that he was already dead. Summoning the centurion, he asked him whether he had already died. When he found out from the centurion, he gave the corpse to Joseph. After he bought some linen cloth, Joseph took him down and wrapped him in the linen. Then he laid him in a tomb, cut out of the rock, and rolled a stone against the entrance of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Joe's were watching where he was laid. Thank you so much for coming today. Come back tomorrow for Mark chapter 5.